Hey guys, uh, continue working on this bike. The last one we just, you know, still a little noisy, but you know, it's still, it, it's a whole lot better. So anyways, let's continue. Uh, oh, and if you haven't watched the last two, uh, this is my niece's bike. She's like six months old. But my sister wanted it for her to... Well, she can have a bike when she gets older. So, I told her I want to get back into doing this stuff. Because I used to build bikes pretty much in my sleep. So, I'm going to get back into working on them. So, they gave me a bunch of old bikes. And they said they wanted this one fixed. For my for my niece and so I don't want to give her a death trap so I'm at this point I just want to make it where you know my nephew can ride around and make sure you know I'll have him just make sure it's top-notch I don't want him to you know do like he does his bikes so yeah There. Get the lock bolt. Get on now. Now these should be tight. The last bolt I just put on there. Uh, you should go back and watch the other two videos, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, now quit playing with me. This thing's really messing with me. I so want to say curse words. Ha! Yeah. Now what, mother sucker? Can't say what I want to say, so that's close enough for what I want to say. Anybody that knows anything will read between the lines of what I was just saying. Oh, yeah. Give her a little extra drink here. Of course, it's going to take a little while for the, you know, to get it really good. I'll have to come back in with actual grease, clean this stuff completely out, all this the stuff where the bearings go, I'll have to come in and completely clean it out, um, get rid of every bit of gr uh, grease out of it, dirt, sand, whatever's in it. I'll have to get it completely out, get some new grease, completely repack the little bearings in it, put some grease in here so you know it can stay good and then it'll be top notch or act like a rich uncle and just buy her a brand new bicycle no, one of training wheels and all so that is gravy for the moment let's turn our attention to this thing real quick I wonder if we could take it apart not without special tools. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Ah. 
That's why I was sloppy. Move, dog. Move. Now we need to turn our attention to this uh, back tar. And yes, I said tar. Some people that don't understand me, tire. I hate saying it that way. I sound weird. a really really fun pot taking a back tire apart I hate doing that all the crap that I do to a bicycle this is the worst part taking these things apart I used to make these here uh, those free spinning ones uh, where you just you can pedal backwards and you don't move it but it might Hopefully these bearings don't fall apart because I've had them where you take them apart and the bearings just, the, the little balls in it just flop out. And that, that's when it's really fun because you got to put every one of those back in. And if you're missing something, well, you're screwed. hate those if that's what I think it is okay that shouldn't be broke that should be a solid piece what? maybe not okay She's got plenty of grease. I just want to hit those uh, bearings because those seemed a little dry. Before I even go any further. Okay.
Mm. We're gonna have to do this stuff the hard way. I am missing one. There is one missing. I only got two. Evidently there should be three. That sucks. Because I can't do it completely right. I may have to get a new tire. Or go check another tire. And see if I can get this part for it. Because I, I am getting a bunch of bikes gave to me. So I can do stuff like this. Only if stuff was working a lot faster and I wasn't recording. If I wasn't recording, I'd probably been done.
Couldn't have been that damn bad. I think I'm gonna have to get a new piece. Probably be the safe bet. I know a lot of y'all ain't gonna like this video or any of these videos. But this is just the stuff I do all the time. Well, besides bikes, I'm just now trying to get back into them. This is literally the first one I personally have done. My cousin done one on my channel before you go back and look. If I don't get a whole new this part, then I will at least get the parts that I need for this one. Some bitch supposed to be in there like that. Get that tongue stuck out there, you know, make everything work a little easier. Y'all don't do that? Try it next time you work on something, stick that tongue out there, you're like, mm. Stuff will go working with you. I'm playing, it, it doesn't work. Well, sometimes it does, but not always. I'm going to have to take the sun. Hopefully, this damn thing will work with me here. And I get this done. I'll stop working on this thing. Try to do it this way. See what happens with it.
I'm by half retarded. Gotta take this nut back off. And yes, we're at 23 minutes. If y'all are still stuck around, then y'all some troopers. I forgot to put sprocket back on. D. Give these bangs a little love. Now, put this piece on. long-winded very long-winded annoyingly long-winded Jam nut back on. And I got it backwards. And again, another long winded one. Probably should have tried to hook up my mic. I don't know how good the quality is. I haven't checked any of the videos. What? Damn it. Is this not going that bad? Ah, it's 18. Okay, tire's back together. Probably won't spin, but it's back together. So, put this thing. <laughs> oh, my brain. It'll spin. I'll be shocked. But we're going to give it a shot. See what happens. I get my dog off of me so I can move. Something got in my ear. Ah. 
I'll leave that loose until I get it tight, tightened up. Here's A15 and A15. This is one of them I use to take it off. This one isn't the one I use to take the tire off. Make sure your tire, when you put your tire on, make sure it's straight with the frame from right up here where the sprocket is. Make sure your tire is straight with it otherwise your tire will be doing this going down the road or gravel wherever y'all live no judgment Don't be afraid to put some torque on these. You don't want your tire popping off. Don't ask me how I know. And that don't mean actually ask me how I know. I've done it. Peeled up my whole front half. Tire went off. Boom! Hit that and then fuck it. Yeah. I got myself pretty messed up. in the world but she'll work See how that's loose? That's bad. You don't want it to be... See, when you want it to move... I'll hold down here just to hold the tension up here. Or, technically, this would be the bottom. But when you move it, that's about how much play you want, which is not much at all. You get away with a little looser like this, but you want it about, about right there. That's about how loose you want it. So this is loose, but for the purpose that I'm doing, it is just fine. See, when I used to make them when I was a lot younger, I used to put my foot down here, grab a hold here, pull, make sure the tire's straight while I'm pulling, 
and then I reach up, tighten one down with my hand, just kind of snug it up, switch hands, tighten the other one up, grab a wrench, pull it tight, and then of course switch hands again just to keep make sure it stays straight, tighten it down, then let go and then just uh, just go to cranking on it. Never had to worry about chain popping off. This right here, it's a potential. Let's see if I did it. Yeah, see? It just pops right off. Then you gotta put it on there. And then you gotta get it back on. Like that. But for the purpose of today, that is just fine. That's just fine and dandy. Now, I guess I'll get off here and stop bugging y'all. All right, no, you gotta move. No, you gotta, you gotta let me turn. You gotta let me turn now. You fat cow? Yeah, she's huge. Bigger than she should be. Well, I don't know. My wife said the vet says she's, you know, not overweight but when her body's four times the size of her head she's kind of overweight anywho get off of that subject uh if you're still around <laughs> you're troopers so let me know what y'all think like comment subscribe till next time stay weird